hello and welcome to my channel so this uh, is a series of problems so today we will be discussing a problem in topology and it is a problem about boundary of a set or more precisely we'll be talking about this uh, some examples where boundary of those sets are integers okay and for more problems or the previous problems we encourage the viewers to visit this website which is the link is also provided in the description okay so let's head to the problem so the problem is that give three distinct subsets of r whose boundary is z okay and here the topology that i am talking about is the subspace topology subspace. of course you can give some other topology but i'll be discussing today r uh, with the euclidean topology and z with the subspace topology okay so i encourage you to uh, pause for some time and think it and then uh, come back to see the solution okay so i hope you have the solution so before heading to the solution let's see uh, what are the definitions of boundaries so what are the means like there are uh, many equivalent definitions so here i'm writing three equivalent definitions of the boundary of a set the first is so first of all let a denotes the closure of a and int a denotes the interior of a so recall that uh, what is the closure of a so it's the set a union limit points of a And what is limit points of A? So X belongs to limit points of A if for every open set or for every neighborhood of X it must intersect A other than x okay so this is called the limit point that means you have this is my a and let's say see x could be here or x could be here so in any case if let's say x is here and i'm saying that x is a limit point it means that if i take any neighborhood of x it must intersect a other than x okay so this is the, uh, the closure of a and what is interior of a so x is in the interior of a or which is also written as like this if there is a neighborhood of x which completely contained in a okay so it means that this x if there is a neighborhood which is completely lying in a okay for example this x is not uh, an interior point because any neighborhood here will contain some points outside the that a okay so that's why this is not an interior point okay. so now we have uh, learned what is a closer and what is a interior so let's head to the definition of the boundary so first definition is so this is the notation of the boundary of a so x belongs to the boundary of a if and only if it intersects both a and a complement okay so here i have uh, yeah so let me 
not no, this is sorry here if and only if every neighborhood of x intersects both a and a complement so whatever neighborhood of x i'll take it must intersect a and a complement okay so that is called the boundary of x okay the next is the boundary of a is also defined as the a closer minus interior of a and the third is you take a closer intersection with x minus a all closer okay so these are the three equivalent definitions that one can mm, use to determine the boundary of a set okay so now let's see what are the examples where the boundary of the set is z so we claim that if a equals to z then boundary is z if a equals to z union 1 by 2 then also boundary is z and if a equals to z union 2 3 then also boundary is z okay so let's see the first example z okay so i have to prove that boundary of z is equals to z it means that i have to prove that z is a subset of boundary of z and boundary of z is a subset of z okay the intuitively it is clear so let me first uh, prove it pictorially so intuitively it is clear because this is my real number line this is set of integers now you see that what i am saying that uh, the set of integers the boundary point is z so let's say i need to show that this is a boundary point so how do i show so what is the definition if i take any neighborhood of the point then it must contain a point of the set and a point of the complement but you see that if i take any uh, uh, neighborhood so since we are in the euclidean topology r in topology the what are the open sets it's ball okay or ball means here uh, intervals so let me draw the intervals instead of balls okay so i have interval okay so whatever interval you take it must contain see since it's the neighborhood of this so it is containing the point n and see what is the neighborhood of or what is the neighborhood of n it must contain n minus epsilon to n plus epsilon it's n minus epsilon to n plus epsilon because these are the open sets open interval okay and hence it has plenty of points in the z complement and therefore every integer is a boundary point so this shows this thing z is a subset of t. now hence this is complete okay now what about boundary of z is a subset of z so let's see that also so suppose that again in the number line we have 0 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 okay. so suppose that i need to show that this point is not a boundary point okay so what i will do so it means that something is not a boundary point so x is not in the boundary of a it means that there exists some open set u such that u intersection a is empty or u intersection a complement is empty okay okay so this is my x so what i will do i'll take an open neighborhood like this okay so 
so like more precisely what is the uh, epsilon that i will be choosing here so let's say i have let's say this x is there so i have two distances from the nearest indeed okay so this is my epsilon 1 and this is my epsilon 2 i'll just take epsilon as minimum of epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and then what is the open set x minus epsilon and x plus epsilon okay because if i take x minus epsilon x plus epsilon i'll be so here epsilon 2 is the minimum so i'll be in this so this is my open set and this open set does not intersect with the integers and hence u intersection a is empty and therefore this x is not in boundary and this proves that boundary of z is a subset of z so so if this does not prove this basically proves that that boundary of so any point so i what i prove that any point other than z is not a boundary point okay so, so it means that i proved uh the contrapositive thing that z complement is not this okay that any comp z, z complement is subset of the boundary of z whole complement okay or more precisely or boundary of z complement is not a subset of okay so let's recall what we have done till now so the, the first thing is that z is a subset of boundary of z okay and the second thing any other point other point is not a boundary point okay so if you take any other point which is not in unity here that's not a boundary point okay and this proves that the z is the boundary of z okay fine the next example is z union one two open interval so you can take of course any open interval which does not contain any integers or it contains the teacher does not matter okay so 0 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 okay so again first thing is uh, boundary of a is equals to z so first of all z is containing the boundary of so this time I'll, I'll use the uh, second definition let's let's see because this I've already have i have explained how to use so let's use any of this okay so what i have to show that boundary of z union one two is equals to so this is a so this is a closer minus interior of a okay so here I will just say so A is what is A here? It's a Z union. So this is what is, but this is what this is Z closure union one two closure. So in general, A union B closure is equals to A closure union B closure. I'll, I'll prove this after like we finish this, this example okay so z bar union uh, and what is z is a closed set so this is z and one two closure is one comma two okay because it contains the limit points also so this is the two these are the two extra limit points okay so this is this fine 
and so and what about the interior of a so let's see what is the interior of a so interior of z union one two okay again i'll consider the number line because pictorially these are very easy so, this is my zero one my two three minus one minus two minus three okay and now this part is also in the picture okay see what i am claiming that the interior of this set is nothing but one two because you see if you take any other point let, let's take let's take any other point let's take this this point is not in interior because interior of a it must be a subset of a first of all this is true so so here uh, interior of z union 1 by 2 must be a subset of z union 1 2 so now let's take some integer point okay so let's take some integer point so if i'll take this point this is not an interior point because if i take any neighborhood that is not entirely contained in the subset okay so hence any integer point is not an interior point but if you take any point in this open interval then i can always find a uh, small neighborhood which is contained in one two because this one two is an open set and for an open set interior is same as the set okay so this equals to one two and what is a closure minus interior this and what is this this is z union one two but what is this this is z okay so this proves that the boundary of this set is also z okay yeah so, so here we prove that boundary of uh, a is z so let's quickly show the thing that i promised that a union b whole closure is equals to a closure union b closure. and this is a very important property um, like usually in topology sometimes like the, directly question comes with this property or sometimes you need to find out what is the closure of a union b and where this is very important to use or this is very helpful to you so first of all we recall that a is a subset of a closure because what is a closure it's a union something limit points okay so it's this okay so it means that a and now you know that a union b contains a so this implies a closure contains in a union b closure similarly b is a subset of a union b so this implies b closure is also contained in a union b closure so this implies a closure union b closure is a subset of a union b closure one sided is done so this side is done now I have to show this side so take x is in a union b whole closure now what is a union b whole closure it's a union b union limit points of a union b see if so x b is this means x is either in this or in this if x is in this then i am done because x is in either a or b and hex, hence x is in either a closure and or b closure and i am done so let's say x is in this but x is in limit points of a union b this implies that there exists a neighborhood u so let me write down this means that every 
neighbor not there exist every neighborhood of x say u must contain one point other than x okay so it means that u intersection a union b is non empty okay because x is not in a union b so i guess so so what is this this is what this is u intersection so this is u so i am taking u intersection a union b but just use the u intersection a union u intersection b so this is non empty so this implies either this is non empty or this is non empty so if this is non empty means x is in a bar and if this is non empty means x is in b bar and hence x is in a bar union b bar okay and this completes this okay so we have proved a very important property of the closure okay now the third example is z union 2 3 and this is similar to the previous thing so here also boundary of a checked okay so now you you write to try a formal proof of all these three things and if you do not able to write it uh, a formal proof that boundary of a equals to z in all three cases because we have demonstrated with pictures pictures uh, are not like formal proofs so we have to write formal proofs so that is you write you try to write a formal proof and in case you don't then just go to the website the link of the daily problems which is given in the description and there i have described i have written a formal proof of this that y boundary of h equals to z okay thank you we'll meet again tomorrow for a problem in the differential equation and a hindi version of this solution is also given in the description of the video okay thank you